In this video, we are going to look at how do thoughts play a vital role in shaping a man's behavior? Thoughts are the internal mental activities that take place in our minds, such as thinking, problem solving, reasoning, and imagining. They can be conscious or unconscious, voluntary or involuntary, and can range from simple ideas to complex abstract thoughts. Our thoughts can influence our emotions, and our emotions can also influence our thoughts. There are five ways you can boost your happiness on a daily basis. 1. Practice daily thankfulness. 2. Surround yourself with positive people. 3. Do regular acts of kindness. 4. Spend more time with family and friends. 5. Spend money on experiences instead of things. Let's see what the Bible says, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, Rather than thinking about the things that trouble you, that cause worry and anxiety, think about the things that are. 1. True. 2. Honest. 3. Just. 4. Pure. 5. Lovely. 6. Good report. 7. If there is any virtue. 8. If there is any praise, think about these things. Paul gives us a clear list of things on which we need to meditate. Instead of thinking about the things that disturb you, that causes worry and anxiety, Bible urges you to think about the things that are true, pure, right, holy, friendly, and proper. On these lists Paul would say, the fruit and the food of mind should be guarded by the peace of God. When we put good things in our minds, the result is they stay in our minds and then come out from us. In Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7 says, as man thinks, so is he. Don't ever stop thinking about, what is truly worthwhile or anything is excellent, worthy of praise or praiseworthy. Most of the Christian life comes down to the mind. Paul in his letter to Romans chapter 12, verse 2 speaks of the essential place of being transformed by renewing your mind or to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 speaks of the importance of casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. What we choose to meditate on, does matter. Paul practically talks about bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ Jesus. Amen.